and gentlemen, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne video. It's Tales Mustache here, and today I'm gonna show you guys the Skull Cracker Hammer build. So basically, this build right here was designed to knock out multiple times any monster in Master Rank. So with this build right here, the monsters will not leave the floor. So without further talking, let's jump straight into the build. So for this build right here, we're gonna be using the Ruinous Obliteration, which is a new rank to 12 hammer that you can craft using Ruiner and Ergigante materials. So now, let's take a look at its stats. So the Ruinous Obliteration comes with a throw attack of 1508, with a very large chunk of white sharpness, 0% of PDD, 180 dragon element, and high other seal. It also has one level 1 just slot. Now for the augments we're using one defense increase and one health regen, which is gonna keep you healed throughout the whole fight. Now for the other pieces we're using the Rex Grower Helm Alpha Plus, the Diablos Mail Beta Plus, the Diablos Nero Braces Beta Plus, the Diablos Nato Coil Beta Plus, the Garuga Grievous Beta Plus, and the Master's Charm Core. Now with all these pieces and skills together, we've managed to get a throw attack of 1648 with a very large chunk of white sharpness, 75% affinity for hitting weak spots of the monster, 95% affinity for hitting wounded parts of the monster, 180 dragon element, and high other seal. Now the whole set is upgraded to the maximum level, so we have a total of 922 defense, which makes us really really tanky as well. So now let me show you guys all the skills that we have together in this setup right here. So here we have Slugger Secret that raises the maximum level of the Slugger skill. Critical Eye level 7 that increases your affinity by 40%. Slugger level 5 that increases your stun power by 60%. Attack Boost level 4 that increases your attack by 12 points and your affinity by 5%. Health Boost level 3 that increase your health bar by 50 points. Critical Boost level 3 that increase the damage dealt by critical hits to 40%. Weakness Exploit level 3 that increase your affinity by 30% for hitting weak spots and by 50% for hitting wounded parts of the monster. Heroics level 1 that increase your defense by 50 points if your health drops below 35%. Fortify level 1 that increase your attack by 10% and defense by 15% for a maximum of 2 times whenever you faint. Marathon Runner level 1 that reduces continuous stamina depletion by 15%. Free Meal level 1 that gives you a 25% chance of consuming a food or drink item for free. Tool Specialist level 1 will depend on the level 4 jewels that you have. And Affinity Sliding level 1 that increases your affinity by 30% for a short time after sliding. So now let me show you guys all the decorations that we're using in this setup right here. So here we have Free Vitality Jewels 1 that increases your health boost skill. 3 Crico Jewels 2 that increase your Crico Boost skill. 1 Slider Slash Attack Jewel 4 that increases both your Affinity Sliding and your Attack Boost skill. 1 Fortitude Slash Expert Jewel 4 that increases both your Fortify and your Crico Eye skill. 1 Tenderizer Slash Maintenance Jewel 4 that increases both your Weakness Exploit and your Tool Specialist skill. And 2 Tenderizer Jewels 2 that increases your Weakness Exploit skill. So now talking about jewels, there's a way to make this build even better if you happen to have some very specific level 4 jewels. So what you're looking for is instead of this jewel right here, you're looking for a tenderizer slash vitality jewel 4. So by replacing this jewel right here, you can actually replace also one vitality jewel 1 for either 142 jewel 1 or one attack jewel 1. If you're doing guiding lens, I highly suggest using 42 uh, because it's really helpful there. If you're doing anything else, just use a regular attack jewel so you can actually reach attack boost level 5. And then by doing that, you can also replace this jewel right here for a flight slash expert jewel 4. So you can actually add airborne level 1 to this build for an additional 30% attack boost when you do jumping attacks. So it's really, really good and that would make this build pretty much perfect. So that's pretty much it for the build guys. Now I'm going to show you guys a small demonstration here in the training arena so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So thank you for watching guys and now check this out.
So that's pretty much it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Iceborne videos like that. So thank you for watching guys and until the next episode, see you!